The first person to comment on my latest video is the main man, 10 Trick KD. Thank you so much, my guy, for commenting. If you want to be the first, obviously comment on my latest video. Be the first to do it. Comment first, whatever you want, man. Nonetheless, today we do have basically not i bought the teams it is the most meta players in each position now how this series works is i hand select the best most meta players in each position ranging from cheap to medium and medium to expensive in all categories in terms of goalkeeper center backs left backs right backs uh you will you guys will exactly see so we're gonna get right into it as i said please hit the like subscribe i do most videos like this you know just basically showing you guys currently what's the meta right now so yeah these are like updated videos and uh, yeah we got a new new players right here and as you can see yes kutwa is not out yet but this is the best goalkeepers and for this one i didn't actually do cheap to medium i just put it all in one category because goalkeepers it doesn't really matter how much you spend they do the job come on let's just be completely honest and these are the best uh right there you can go for the cheap ones like the likes of lafont even um gold pope will do even normal lafont will do that's how he plays uh, for me he plays absolutely well right there by the way no beard mike is at your service <laughs> boys donnarumma in my opinion still very very good to this day um pope sh showed on a, a little bit mixed opinions people don't really like him people like him i'm not too sure i just added him because when i used him yes i put him in spc unfortunately i think he was still good though when i used him now there's a new goalkeeper on the block and it was emiliano martinez uh by the way i am doing this video on a sunday so if there's new players coming through just leave in the comments tell me um or ask me are they meta or not i will tell you exactly my thoughts on them you know uh, and no i'm not a stat merchant but for this one I, i'd say stats look decent you know and i will recommend him as a meta goalkeeper to use what is he actually in terms of height he's six foot five so emilio martinez an absolute beast people hate him though because of the world cup final remember that but yeah very very nice good selected goalkeepers in my opinion what is your best in your uh, opinion right there so we're gonna move over to the next one as i can show you uh we will jump over to the cheap to medium priced center backs and these are the meta ones and in the next category will be the medium to expensive you guys will get it as you're going right there man so yeah as you can see we've also got the bench which we'll get uh down in a minute but as you can see very very nice meta um i'd say under 100,000 coins cards right here and very very good in game man i've used most of them i've played with most of them bro pause uh nonetheless as you can see van dyke still the old reliable always going to be good in this game a uh, very very nice card that team of the year though boys Oh my days, I haven't seen his stats, but I just know he's going to be probably the most irritating card to ever burst in, in Ultimate Team, bro. Like, his goal card is insane this year, and I can never get past him, bro. I don't know what it is. Nonetheless, we got Radu right there. Bai, a very, very nice one. Uh, obviously, you can actually... I put him actually into SPC for that Ramos, which you will see in a minute right there. Uh, but yeah, we got a Paloi... Palois? Palois? I think it's Palois. Oh, he's actually very, very nice. I used him yesterday in um, my qualification games, and I really enjoyed him. I can't lie. For someone that is 15,000 coins, he was actually keeping up with Ramos. Not a bad card at all right there. We got Kara right there. Very uh, reliable card. Came out, obviously, when the Phenoms was out. Uh, yeah, very, very reliable. I, I really like his card, and his passing is decent because of the five-star weak foot. This is a new one. It is Shaw. Inform Shaw is a little bit weird. 5'11 is, I'd say, medium height. Uh, mid 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 uh very very nice acceleration and pace uh yeah i think it's a very very nice card for so cheap you know what i mean i mean it's only under 20 uh, actually under thirty thousand coins you got aguero right there jump over to the bench now yes sometimes uh people don't know that these cards are meta so i gotta include the gold cards always man like let's just be honest though koulibaly rudy govaran all those cards they're always gonna be meta in the game but i've always got to include them you know it's like what's relative now in terms of meta is what i include uh and i just think they still to this day are uh, relevant and meta you know what i mean so yeah as my um thing goes off right but yeah as you can see danilo i versed him in weekend league i think once or twice and i actually did like his card so those type of cards i'm gonna put you know and so judging by stats i don't want to completely go by stats i don't want to be a stat merchant as i said earlier in this video but man oh man this card's actually not bad if you add something like a um let's go and see something that boosts just straight up pace defending and physical could be nice that anchor is perfect or shadow and yeah you're looking at a 92 rated center back that is 23,000 coins so it's not all that bad you know what i mean but uh, yeah we got schlotterback bastoni right there we got vegos yes not your conventional center back he's an attacker and for united by the way i don't have united top but this is shot of pirates let's go uh team i'm uh, currently signed with but yeah we got silver as well vegos very very good card by the way but yeah these are the best cheap to medium i'd say but uh, yeah, I don't think any of them range over 100k. I think Van Dyke is the closest to 
yeah as you can see right there man so yeah jump over to the next one it is the medium to expensive range now yeah we're looking at the most expensive center backs in the game and they just absolutely irritating we'll start off with the main man Vidic. now i heard by a couple of people in uh, on twitter that they said this card is absolutely phenomenal and i can't wait to try him out maybe if i do a past and present united team he will be in the team but oh my days if you add a shadow on him this is literally the prime 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 vintage bro like imagine we got a 39 card though but uh they are totty icons so i'm guessing uh, only the team of the year icons are right there man very very nice card right there overall bro 100 percent in probably could be the top five best center backs in the game for well, more coins as you can see right there we got maldini uh, obviously always a meta you got Varane, van dyke you got these cards yes i included the team of the year because boys believe it or not they meta let's just be completely honest all the team of the year cards are meta um maybe the goalkeeper you know people are just so weird they'll be like katoa is not good at saving uh, even his team of the year i don't know why people do that but uh trust me all i looked at all the cards i don't know the stats completely only the attackers is out but man oh man those cards look absolutely brilliant uh, but yeah i was talking about another brilliant card it is ramos a little bit overpriced a little bit just a little bit if you can get him down with fodder and get him to like 400k i think he's probably going to be the best card to play with in the game and probably top five best in the backs uh, as you can see we got romero tomori we got kulibali edamalitao now these are cards that were meta throughout the promos etc you got the likes of the bench which is world cup icon cards um sorry just world cup cards yeah world cup icon cards not totty icons um there's actually a few in this video but yeah kim pembe oh my days i heard by uh boris legend he said this card is insane in game and for the price that you're spending it just doesn't feel like that he could literally be like the cheap village if that makes sense or the cheap maldini so yeah if you're rocking league one or i mean it's very very nice links as well if you're rocking anybody that is from france or just league one get him in the team man get him in the team links to the messi's the mbappe so you will know all right there and then we just got oh yeah Mika. i don't know why i added him he's, he's a medium price player actually cheap i should have put him in the other one i don't think there was space though but he's probably the best cheap player they've released this far man do check that out i checked by a couple of pros they actually did like his card we're gonna move over to the fullbacks we're not gonna jump um not gonna waste any time right there there is a lot of positions right there not too much though but yeah we want to keep this video nice and short just to explain how good these cards uh cards are in game and uh but yeah by the way, we got the cheap to medium fullbacks. These are Gunters. You got the likes of Biragis. We got Vasquez's, Taverniers, Coleman's. Those are obviously the Centurion players uh, alongside Winter Wildcard cards. There's a lot of them, right? There we got Shaw. He was okay. If you didn't play, play you probably United a supporter right there, which, by the way, the game is in a moment. So I need to make this video before that so I can watch it, man. Arsenal and United. Hopefully we win, bros. Hopefully we win. Uh, some of the United fans, man. Because that'll, that'll bring it down, you know. Even if we do win, I think they nine points ahead still. So that is crazy, man. Arsenal are doing well this season, bro. But as you can see, obviously, you got your conventional or your straight-up meta players. Everybody knows they're going to be a nice meta right there. I had to include them. Some people don't know that they're meta. So we, we just got to we gotta be that guy, you know. But uh, we got Nuno Mensch. We got Frimpong Amavis. You guys can see. Just very, very nice. Box-to-box -box players. Um... I'd say in the fullback, yeah, they, they, they go down the flanks. They, they're very nice at that. Tavernier, by, by the way, very good card. I don't know if he's still available. The jump over to the medium to expensive now. I can't stress enough how vital fullbacks are in anyone's team, bro. They literally the, the heart of the team. I know people will say the midfielders are, like the CDMs or the CMs. Bro, the fullbacks are very, very vital, man, because you need those guys to be those one, two uh, players, the one that flanks uh even the ones that score you know what i mean like uh do the uh, driven shots right there even if they're overlapping and they're cutting in you can easily or even just passing on the edge you know those uh that's actually a really really meta way of scoring now uh by the way so yeah jump over to the fullbacks i don't really need to explain any of these cards they're just brilliant in game like captivia best left back in the game in my opinion uh this far zanetti i heard by Bateson. uh he used him i don't know if he enjoyed him but he did say that he was decent obviously he's gonna be decent look at the stats but uh yeah as i said i don't want to be a stat merchant but oh my days these cards look in incredible bro uh hakimi and Anders, imagine their stats man oh man hakimi bro oh didn't he get one yeah he got one last year so that's two years in a row fair play to him did theo and Anders also get one i'm not entirely too sure did he get one i'm not too sure was it davies i think it's one of the two but yeah as you can see these cards just very very good at passing uh quadrado very very nice five star uh three star 
But uh, Robertson as well is a nice one because he's got five star weak uh, skill moves. Weak foot's a little bit of a downfall, but his five star skills uh, makes up for that as well as his dribbling. I uh, got Mendy as well. So yeah, those are very, very nice fullbacks in game. And we're gonna jump over to my favorite category, if you did not know. It is the CDM CMs cams. You got the likes of the box to box players, the ball winners. And we're gonna jump over to the cheap ones. Now, yes, sometimes you'll see players out of position, but that's how they can play in game so do bear in mind yes vasquez is a player that can play at right wing slash right back and doesn't have a cdm cm or cam card uh, or can be converted to that but in game bros oh my days this card at cm is brilliant bro like in a 4 and 2 slash 2 very very nice right there man uh by the way sorry if i'm speaking too fast bro i want to try and make this video before the united game as i said but yeah we got a nahi right there very very nice during the world cup bro how good was this guy during the world cup absolute minutes right there in terms of dribbling now i did include him for the guys that maybe are starting out their rtgs uh, or starting off ultimate team even if you're starting a um league one team i think he's very very nice right there to obviously link uh maybe in a 4 2 2 slash 2 or 4 3 2 1 would be ideal uh but yeah we got gundu one which ea didn't want to make him that meta uh they could have just increased his pace a little bit and agility and balance a little bit and he would have been probably the best box to box see him in the game however still a very very nice card usable 5 foot 11 he's got the average body type imagine he had unique four star four star however is nice i do like the looks of that card man so yeah we got the likes of obviously the ball winners like um tonali uh not really that much actually i include i mean zambo is a nice ball winner Perisic, which is a cdm as well and you got obviously the the meta players that not a lot of people know and no, i'm joking a lot of people know they meta I just had to include them anyway and there was a lot of players so if i did skip one or two players in this category just to correct me if i'm wrong but yeah uh because there was a lot so move over to the medium to expensive ones and yeah it's a very nice page finally i included ronaldo sanchez i always forget about this card he's ones to watch but yeah zidane probably my favorite card this um fifa 23 into fifa 23 he's so so good Bro, I play him Cam, I play him Lamb, I play him Ram, I play him Striker. Only downfall is his stamina is 81. That is literally it. But nonetheless, as you can see, obviously the team of the years. We've got some of the Totti icons. I included everyone because their stats look incredible. And apparently in-game, I always look at Twitter, bro, to look at the how they play. And they are absolutely insane. Like this Beckham, bro. I was watching Bateson use him and, oh, bro, this car looks phenomenal, bro. Hopefully I can use him down the line. It sucks that you can't actually play him. Can you move him to CM? Uh, let us quickly see. You can move him to CM, bro. That's why it's 3 million coins. Like, look at those stats. Finally, a usable Beckham card. I do like the um, the take on Team of the Year icons. Thank you, EA, for that, you know. But uh, as you can see, look at the bench. Very, very nice. Uh, I really, really like the looks of that bench. Um, and by the way, these are not on the bench for a reason. It's just because uh, I didn't have, obviously, space right here. That made sense. But uh, yeah, Yaya Torre and Marquiso, you guys already know, very, very good cards. You got that Fred, very nice card as well. Uh, if you want to pause the screen, just pause if I'm going a bit too quick. But uh, we're going to move over to the, I'd say, second last category right here. That is the left wingers, right wingers. And then, yeah, we got the CFs and strikers in the last one. So uh, these are the cheap ones. And there's not really that much cheap left wingers slash right wingers. Most of them are expensive that are meta. That's what I've noticed. But I have included at least all of them, you know, that I know. Well, we got your obviously conventional meta players, the Vinnies, the Neymars. Uh, we got Perisic. Yes, he can play Lamb and Ram, but most utilized at CDM slash CM, in my personal opinion. We got likes of Alawire and, you know, your old reliables, um, like Dembele's, you know. Nedved actually under 100k. Very nice card right there, man. And then we got some of these players, yes, you think isn't meta, but judging by their stats, yes, I'm being a stat merchant because there wasn't that much players in left wingers slash right wingers, but this card just he screams meta bro 94 stem you add an engine he goes to controlled he looks absolutely phenomenal as a lcm or even a lamb bro someone that can just help you in terms of passing and stuff rebic more of a strike in my opinion but very very nice card and uh we got a new card right here it just looks insanely fast and uh, agile on the wings man so if you can link him if you are a bundesliga uh fanatic right there get him in the team man but uh, yeah, we're not going to waste too much time on that. We're going to move over to the medium to expensive. And my word, I'm looking at the price right there. It's 21 million coins just for all these cars that I included. But damn, look at, we'll start with the bench. You got your Ribery's, you got your Mane's, Luis Figo 5-star skills. Quite, can play CM mainly. Ram's not bad. 
even cam is not a bad shout but uh they can be used uh and utilized as left wingers slash right wingers pires five star skills this time when have we ever seen a usable pires card boys now come on bro <laughs> we got uh, ronaldinho i nearly said name all my days we got a messi bro messi's five more bro that's crazy you got mbappe uh we got beckham again which it says cm because he was just placed there but you can play ram yes i definitely think beckham can get in behind you know can be that guy edge on um with getting to the box getting to the edge of the box for crosses something like that he's a, a very nice card you know those trivelas i heard were insane from him apparently better than jorzinho's Talking of Jorginho, he's going to be an insane card if you did him fair play. Uh, but yeah, overall, you guys know exactly how good they are. They're five skills. Uh, some of them have four star weak foots. You know, it's just very, very meta, you know, to have at least one of them have maybe at least over four star skill moves or four star weak foot. Uh, five star is a big, big plus though. Having them at um, the wings, you know, just to cut in, do use fancy skill moves, do the effective skill moves like the ball rolls, the um, agile players. Uh, and what is it um the step overs as well as the elasticos is always efficient right there jump over to efficiency in terms of cf slash strikers we got the likes of the best cheap um cf slash strikers and these are cards that man oh man sometimes they irritate me because i'll be like why are they so good for the price that you're spending bro like this suka bro is seventy three thousand, and i don't know how he's 73k though he's so good in game bro what a card and i've actually included Giroud this time because apparently people have been saying this card is decent in game i haven't used him this is one of the cards i haven't used yet but apparently he's very very good in terms of uh cheap you know and op aspects but uh, we got origi i feel like tell me if this theory is right or wrong boys For some reason i feel like ea nerfed some cards like yes they did it to um zlatan ibrahimovic's card but they backed it up again in terms of stats but i feel like they nerfed some cards like after uh, like uh post um promos if that makes sense like after the promos i don't know why because this already felt so good when i was doing a showdown card like right after and then played him on the weekend league he just wasn't as great but i still think for fifty thousand coins it was a steal five star four star very very nice pace uh just just turns a little bit slow that's it but uh, we got Pufal very nice as well politano probably my favorite uh, spc card one of uh and yeah i did him for like 20 30k and he was so good in game just gets into the box so quick turns just efficient you know what i mean so that's what you're gonna see right there maybe the likes of some decent decent cards and not the best though you can upgrade them and you can upgrade them to this and this is the last category cfs slash strikers the best most meta and probably the most expensive as you can see 27 mobile <laughs> crazy stuff uh, but we start with the bench at Rooney in SPCs. That's why I included him. Meta, in my opinion. Very, very nice card. Four star, four star, if I'm not mistaken. Now, three star skill moves. It doesn't really matter. If you can do step overs, you'll be efficient. Uh, we got Croy. You guys already know. Butra Gueno, small turns fast. Uh, Vola, very nice. Got Sanchez, the new card. Reviewed him if you want to check out my reviews. It is the latest videos. And I have been doing more reviews. So tell me if you guys enjoy that content. But look at this card. If you can do him for like 500k with fodder man oh man is he gonna be like look at that likes bro people do enjoy this card a lot trust me i used him yesterday yes he has average body type but he was so nice in game man uh, just what you need as a striker you know what i mean we got mbappe we got benzema you guys already know man benyeda the rat we got ibra the card that i want to use still expensive as fuck though uh we got lacazette we got rafael Leao, um ronaldo eusebio decent decent cards not entirely um in budget in terms of for the casual player <laughs> but a very nice selection of players and that is the best excuse me cf slash strikers to use and the best most meta players to use in each position uh posi posi position thank you so much for watching please hit that like subscribe i have been your boy meta mike this is what i do so hit that subscription boys also check out the play reviews i'm gonna go i'm off to go watch the united game check your boys in the next one man peace lads hey.